much time I've got left in this video. Battery. But um, when you just got this camera, it's the first time I've ever used a GoPro. And um, basically, I've only loaded up, loaded up one video last night, and that was the supermarket one. But I tried to start this vlogging, and for a long time I've been wanting to do it. And I was thinking, what can I do? But when you look around your local area, you think, I live on top of all this stuff, and it's all quite interesting. I mean, there is a hell of a lot in South London to do. There's so much history here. A lot of people probably don't even know, they probably think, oh, South London, I like North London. It's a bit more upmarket, but it's not really. This is more historical, I think, personally. I wasn't born here, but... Oh, I'll tell you I was. I was born in Lambeth. But I never actually grew up around this area. I grew up in, um, outside London. Who's this guy? 24. So, I'll go this way. Okay, let's walk down this end. Bloody windy, and my hope it's not noisy. So, as I say, it's new, so I haven't got all the attachments. I need to get one of those wind muffle mics and that. Because I do watch other vloggers, and um, this GoPro, you can get so many accessories for it. And I need to get some. It's a lot of money. I went for the GoPro 8 because I thought. People were talking about the seven, there's not much difference, but I thought online on Amazon it was like um I think it was 270 I saw for a GoPro 7 and this was only like another 60 pounds or something, it was 320. So I thought well, I'm gonna go for it. Have a have the best one. This is the this is the um as you can see yeah, let's get this let's get this on the view. That's the better view for this would have been coming up the hill. Wow, look at that. That is the room. Um, that's beautiful, isn't it? That got burnt down, I can't remember what year it was. It used to be, I think it used to be intact. I think it was. A, let's have a look at the plaque over there, I've forgotten. It used to come up, yeah. You alright there? How you doing alright? I'm fine. Good, good. You? Yeah, I'm not bad, thanks. What are you? Pardon? What are you doing? Just doing a bit of filming. Oh, filming? Yeah, like, you know, put it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. People like this sort of thing, you know, to look at the old history stuff, historical sites and stuff. Oh, yeah. People like a little bit of history, don't they, you know? Oh, yeah. If they can't get it, if they're coming from abroad, they want to see stuff they can go and do. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to put a bit of video on and then stick it on YouTube. It's a bit of fun. Gets me out of the house. The time? I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, I think it must be about 12 o'clock, is it, or later? 12.51. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, Nunhead Cemetery. What's the name of this? Firing Chapel, window, the entrance to the lobby. Before we've destroyed late 70s. I thought it was the late 70s. That's the original drawing. Chapel 1844. Chapel Sunset Winter 2005. Choir performing that day. Okay, cheers. See ya. Let's have a walk around it. If you like a bit of old uh, England, a bit of history, this is it. You can't get much more history than this, in some ways. It's funny these buildings, they stand, you know. I'd love to see it when the roof was on it. Well, that was before I lived in um, this area. You'd think they'd put it back, but they never did. Perhaps it's funds, I don't know. Maybe they like it like that. It looks kind of, I suppose it gives it a bit of, um, you know, what's the word? It's, makes it look like kind of oldie world, even more oldie world, even more ancient, more historical more interesting in some way, it's like a nice bit of work, work of art. <laughs> I'm going through this way. They put a fence up there now. God oh, damn it. Have to walk around this way. Hey, anyway. That's cool. Is it still filming? Yeah, it is. Jesus, the battery's nearly gone, isn't it? I better hurry up. <laughs> I'll have to do it again. I'm going to show you a couple of decent 
some really famous um, tombs. Well, you probably won't know who they are, but they're famous in England terms, they were famous. <laughs> you can see these tombs here, look, you had plenty of money to get buried here years ago. It wasn't for your commoner. You wouldn't have got a chance, I mean, I'll have a twist in here or anybody like that. <laughs> it would have been a uh, lords and ladies and the land of gentry and all that sort of stuff. Right, where are we going? Let's go this way. Keep this camera off. Okay, I think it's down this way. It hasn't been such a long time since I walked down here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Look at those, some of these are great, these monuments, man. I'm trying to find this big, big, big tomb. It's massive, one of these two. He's a Lord Admiral or something. Royal Lord Admiral of the Navy. A lot of these people came from Camberwell, which is up the road there. So I think this was like, at that time, this was a very exclusive area, I presume. There's still buried people here, but I've turned it, turned it over a little bit, because this, this bit here, I'm trying to think when my dog used to run, because I used to pull her off all the graves. Oh my God, they haven't knocked stuff down, have they? No. It goes around in a big circle, this, this cemetery, and back out to the entrance where I came in. It's kind of a big loop. Oh, it's a bit muddy today. But great when you, you know, in the summer I used to run around here when I was younger and fit. And even in the snow it was fantastic to walk the dog or anything. Or, um, it's just a really nice relaxing walk. What's this here? Oh blimey. Got a flood? Well, I won't go that way then. I don't know, we didn't have that much rain, did we? These are new, this stuff here, this never used to be here, it's like a mat. I suppose it does get fairly muddy now. <clears throat> well, this year we've had a hell of a lot of rain, more than normal. I mean, crikey, it's really been... I think February was the most rain we've ever had on record. So, if, you know, I think there is a bit of global warming going on. And global, global wetting. But the funny thing is, I remember when I was a kid in the 70s, it used to be the Ice Age is coming. Even the Clash's song, the Ice Age is coming, da da da. You know, that, that song, London's, London's Calling. But now it's all about global warming, so I don't know. Things change. And now we've got a pandemic. Oh, God. I don't know. Maybe it'll make us change our behaviour a little bit, the human race. Less me, 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 more. Think of each other. But I'm just as guilty as everybody else. But it's the way you're brought up, isn't it? You're made to think got to be independent, you've got to be this, you've got to be that, you've got to get a house, got to, you know, for what? And you break yourself down, work yourself to death. Most people do, and they're lucky they get a little bit of retirement, so, you know. I used to work for a BT, and I had my own business before that, for 15 years. Oh, Christ, look at this now, it's all mud. Don't want a bloody... Oh, Lord. I don't know what to do here now. Ah, jeepers creepers, look at that. 